Let me back in. Oh, there we go. That's better. Um. Ah. Back here. All of his co-workers were gone. Let's, uh, what could it mean? Well, let's actually go Stan through it and listen to him. To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had that was an interesting visit, we'll say. Well, 20! Ah! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person Tips for not getting there. Any fired. <laughs> Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided uh, to go up to here? his boss's Meeting office, room. hoping he might find an answer there. Um, do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. So they have a white rest in peace, friends. Oh, bye, friends. Not efficient. Scribble it out. Who moved my desk? Okay. Where's that being projected from? Oh, there it is. Ooh, closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. You know what? Actually, no. I said I was gonna listen to him. I'm gonna listen to him. Let's go. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, I'm gonna- I swear, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna listen. I promised. I gotta listen, gotta listen. Pay attention. Uh, that's- oh, that's a bathroom. That's not his office. Okay. Helen! Helen! You need to talk to the boss. Where are you in the bathroom? Helen! Man. You suck, Helen. Get to your desk for once. You're never here when I come over here. Stepping into his manager's office, um, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Ooh. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Mm. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Stanley simply uh, began uh, entering uh, random codes into the yep. keypad knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would eight, ever result six, in a correct seven, combination. Five, if he three, knew that the combo oh, nah, was two, yeah. eight, four, five, it would be another story entirely. But no. No. <laughs> this is what he was going to do instead. Yep. This is what I'll do instead. Because that's how much of an arse I am. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Okay, I gotta stop screwing with him. 2845. Yet, incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input um, the correct code what? by sheer luck. Amazing. Hey, he you watching into me? The newly opened passageway. Where? Oh. Why can't I. Oh, Mr. Bigglesworth. It's an odd area. Which way do I... I guess there's only one... Wait, what? What? One little hidey hole. So that's where he goes. Let's go downstairs. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley 
realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question um. would not go unanswered for long. Mm. Stanley walked straight Ooh, ahead through the might, large wait. door that read wow. Mind Control Facility. But there's escape right there. But... But... I, I, I gotta listen to him this time. Go on escape next time. Light bulbs. The lights rose on an enormous uh -huh. room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley it's like Professor Xavier's room. Did he have the strength to Where's my chair? Out? Here, I'll, I'll sit right here. Ah, I'll see all the mutants on every screen in 1080p at 120 gigahertz. Cameras. Now the monitors jumped to light Ooh. and their true nature revealed. Fired? Each bore the number so... of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Ooh, the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Wait, where's mine? Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Mine's somewhere around here. I don't know where it is anymore. So many friggin... Huh. Elevator. This chop, chop. control facility. It was too right. horrible to believe it couldn't Four, be true. Had Stanley really been right in someone's control right there. all this time? Was this the only reason hey, there's he was my office. With his boring job that his emotions had been oh. manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't um, accept it. His own life. How many of us were fired? How many of us controlled? were killed? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Um, Had he truly spent his entire um, life utterly blind to the world? Oh. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this Home very button. place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery this would does. never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Console disabled. Um... Can I turn things on? Off? What, what do I do? What buttons? What? It's a home button. I want to go home. Or at least, you know, bring me to the home page so I can at least go on Mozilla. Uh, go on the internets. 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 Purple. Oh, purple button. <gasps> Big red button! Ugh, gotta press, press the button. Press the button. Why can't I press the button? I want to press the big red button. Let me press it. Man. Five. Mind control idle waiting input. My turn to control the world. And when at last he found the source of the room's hmm. power. He knew it was uh, his duty, his uh, obligation, to put an end to this horrible tempting. place. Do and I want to go back to yelling to my for. same desk every single day, doing the same thing all the time? Or do I want to see what happens? I'll probably turn it off and just... Blah, blah. Hmm. Hmm. Man. Do we try off or on? On or off? Let's go with off. And I died. Man! I knew this was going to happen again. Blackness. Oh, okay, there we go. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Uh, I 
guess not. Yes. Ooh, he had big won. door. He had defeated the machine, oh. unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Huh. And yet, even as the immense the door light. slowly opened, <gasps> Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. I could have went back, but you kept screwing with me! On. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight well, as I was trying to find chamber, through all the other doors, you're telling me to go to this, and well, I could have found out! Even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Bordy, bordy. had not been to understand, but to let go. But I'm no not go would up. anyone tell him where to go. Why can't I see my feet? To do or how to feel. Uh, uh, where are my feet? It will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It's kind of like it a Skyrim type of... The only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Oh. Oh. Grass. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation. I'm free! New path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Oh, so and beautiful. Stanley was happy. How do you know? You telling me that I'm happy? Or are you saying I probably was happy? Apparently, I beat the game. That was lame. It's more fun to screw with them than it is to actually beat the game. I'll just stay here. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. <laughs> he had to make a decision. What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? Yeah, he like, what if all of a sudden my computer no. this popped up a bunch of stuff? I, don't, I can't leave my office. It's not break time the thing yet. What to do now, Stanley wait, thought to what? himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy. It's almost twelve thirty. Yeah, it's ever. almost break time. I will be um, happy. Wait, Stanley. I, I guess I could. Hours passed. Then days. Wait, what? Had years gone by? The... He no longer no! had the ability to tell. I want the one thing he I want to live. Any doubt was that if he waited long enough, oh. the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very Sooner soon. Later, now, the, this will it'll come. He it'll will go. be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. What? Oh, okay. I'm gonna be the door jiggler. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He Our hoped saver. very much that it was. Shut that. Yeah. Ah, turn that off. Wait, there's a door open there. Can I get through here yeah? Nope. Nope. No, I can't. Oh, 20! Shut that off. Oh, more monitors are on. Wait, input received. Sure. I don't remember that computer being on last time. Interesting. Jiggle! I shut my doors behind me. Don't want the boss to get mad. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, let's see what the escape the route left. Yep, let's go this way. Because I already know everything that happens over there. There was not a single person ah. here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley Talk. decided not to, to get fired. To Talk less. Do unbelievably me as Ingmar. Find an oh. answer there. That's why they. Ooh. Room closet. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you either. <laughs> to say anything at all. Uh. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. I Please love screwing with you. Take your time. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So apparently you go through this multiple times and you can screw with them more and more each time? 
But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such Ooh, a competitive economy, that. why had he taken that risk? All because he believed uh. everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. Uh. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Wait, None of what? it made any logical sense. What? As Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? I know, I noticed that earlier. Close automatically behind him wherever he I already moved. knew that. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Yeah, very. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. Um, and at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found I... the words for it. What? I'm dreaming. Oh, I must be. He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, well, you keep sending me through these friggin' doorways. Of course I must be dreaming. found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers were mountainside. actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Beautiful. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. Wait, what? I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Is, is this so getting. He imagined him. The loop's getting smaller. And began to gently float above the ground. What? What? Then what? He imagined himself sailing uh -huh. through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much Ooh, fun. Pretty. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. What's One that? he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Um, Why is that? there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm True. doing? True. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. <laughs> Talking I'm in a fourth about person? A voice describing me. Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Oh, don't go into this loop. All very odd. And wondered if this voice spoke to don't all. Don't run to the exit. The truth Running. Often, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Lunges. Stanley simply deceiving himself. getting some exercise Believing in. that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Well, that's so discomforting. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock for <gasps> Stanley. After the loop all, is bigger again. He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment um, ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of him. Narrator, too. let me out. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to Oh, wake up. God, no! He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The and then he realized he was in an insane asylum. One. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. I want to push the buttons. It's all I want. Come on. I want my apartment. And my wife, and my job, all I want is my life exactly the way it's all. No! Been. Let me out of here. My life is normal. I am normal. Narrator! Everything will be fine. Narrator! I am okay. Let me live! Let me live! No, I'm still here. <laughs> ah, crap. Get me out of this loop. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me. This loop got a lot smaller. And why are we getting a nice red hue? Hear my voice. Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Um. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got so, dressed, gathered her things, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. <laughs> and although she would soon so turn to call for an ambulance, 
For just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy no, people No, I'm not are. crazy, I'm Stanley. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no um, time for this, so it was only a moment... Run off to work then and stop staring at my dead body. At the body. And then she turned and ran. Is that the end?